Now we are going to look at the inside of the Evolved Packet Core in terms of the gateway nodes and the uh, control nodes. So the gateway nodes are uh, essentially very different from the control nodes because the control nodes are used for controlling the um, inlet and the uh, connect connection establishment for the um, caller party and called party. But when it comes to the gateways, gateways provide connectivity to the external network. That is why these are known as the gateways. So we'll look at some of the uh, well-known and most important gateways that we have briefly looked at the names. We have the mobility management entity, the uh, packet gateway, and we are going to look at the home subscriber server. And we look at all this functionality one by one. Let's start with mobility management entity. Mobility management actually means handling handoff. It, it sounds pretty simple because it can be as simple as uh, intra um, base station controller handoff. That is a handoff from one tower to another. In other words, uh, from one base transceiver to another base transceiver station. Uh, but uh, there are certain uh, higher and more complex forms of mobility uh, which need to be equally managed. So it means that mobility management entity is introduced as a very important component in, uh, in the uh, EPC. It is responsible for uh, establishing the signaling network for mobility management that includes uh, uh, number one and first and foremost authentication because uh, uh, whatever a user is authorized to is entitled to has a very important impact on how the mobility takes place once user leaves its parent network and enters into a, a foreign network. So authentication being uh, one, uh, though it is uh, enlisted as one of the last functionalities, but it is always activated uh, beforehand. Then we have the current movement of the user in terms of wherever the user goes, whichever mobility uh, management entity module it is associated to. So the user has to be tracked and paged as well. So the paging of the user has to be a continuous activity. Then after providing the necessary signaling to establish uh, handoff related functionality, then the bearer path has to be realized. Uh, the bearer path is activated and deactivated for successful handoff. Uh, the importance of the mobility management entity is not only there in terms of the uh, handoff on the radio uh, network controller and the radio link controller side. It is also important in the uh, non-access stratum. Non-access stratum actually means it is the side of the core network which does not necessarily involve uh, the interaction with the radio side. But uh, in terms of mobility, it is equally important because the uh, multimedia messaging service or the uh, um, certain advanced uh, SMS services are now required to be terminated and uh, uh, in terms of the SMS delivery, MMS delivery, um, there is a requirement uh, from the short message service center, SMSC, to know the current location beforehand so that uh, exact delivery can be made to the mobile station. And the MME also provides connect connectivity uh, for backward compatibility, that is uh, previous uh, 3GPP core networks, including the LTEA and up till uh, release, uh, release 8 and 9. Uh, that includes obviously uh, backward connectivity for uh, uh, 3G networks and uh, non 3 gpp networks including pure 2g which are only voice and messaging service then we have another important gateway known as the serving gateway 
it is known as the serving gateway because it is more related to the user so the user um, plane or the uh, user path involves this gateway uh, starting from the e node b or the home e node b in ltea another uh, equivalent of the uh, access uh, customer premises equipment uh, now this is a very important gateway it establishes the uh, bearer path for user traffic on behalf of the uh, mobile station um, both with e node b number one uh, and then on the uh, internet side that is towards the packet gateway because we have seen the diagram the packet uh, gateway uh, or the packet data network gateway is towards the external side of the epc that is towards the internet so it means the serving gateway is doing job of providing connectivity between e node b for a mobile station towards the packet gateway uh, it also has uh, well defined interfaces we'd look at different kinds of interfaces um, over time uh, for the radio network controller in um, other umts uh, like uh, utran and uh, utra as the interface and then the serving gateway also has to have an interface uh, with the mme because whenever handover takes place uh, the bearer path also has to be established so this is what uh, the serving gateway also has to perform then we have the uh, packet gateway as another important element in epc it provides connectivity for the mobiles to the uh, external network or the outside network and in this case it's going to be uh, the internet cloud so this is the primary responsibility of the packet gateway Another important functionality of packet gateway is that it provides an exchange point or an anchor point between 3GPP core and non-3GPP networks. Uh, for instance, we know that the 3GPP is primarily IETF, um, uh, sorry, ITU initiative, but in terms of uh, other non-3GPP efforts coming from the uh, IETF and from uh, from IEEE, we have standards like uh, 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 Wi-Fi, WiMAX, etc. So it means uh, this uh, packet gateway is since it is dealing with IP, so it provides a smooth anchorage point or a center point where these protocols can have smooth transition from one to the other. Uh, the packet gateway is now the entity which is providing connectivity to a mobile user in a certain network to the internet so it has to have the functionality of an edge network the edge network router which is uh, the ingress or egress router connected to a core router in a classical ip network architecture so it has to have that kind of functional modules as well this includes uh, filtering uh, uh, deep packet inspection uh, policy enforcement and support for billing and charging when uh, a uh, when a packet enters into uh, the core network it leaves the premises of the edge network so the charging support has to be uh, integrated in packet gateway as well